It is critical to have crystal clear, ultra pure water for a coral reef tank, so investing in a good quality RODI unit is money well spent. Installing a RODI unit is perhaps one of the least stressful tasks when it comes to putting together equipment for a reef tank. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the simple steps of installing a Spectra Pure Max Cap RODI unit that is rated to generate up to 180 gallons per day. Step one is to attach the black tap water tubing and elbow to the left side of the sediment filter housing. Once that is done, I am ready to mount the unit. A 2x4 of my cement wall will serve as my mounting location and I will simply drill three screws into the wood, fit the unit over the screws, and slide it into place. I then hand tighten the screws to make sure it is firmly attached. The next step is to attach the yellow drain line to the Y connector in the rear of the system and after that I am ready to connect the garden hose adapter at the end of the black tubing to the cold water source. I then remove the two DI filter cartridges from the two right hand filter housings. and then reconnect the filter housings to the threaded caps. A ball valve is provided to start and stop the flow of water in the black supply line, but I already have a valve on my cold water source, so I'm going to skip this step. I then place both the yellow waste line and blue product line into a drain and run the water for one hour. After that, I shut the water off and reinstall the two DI cartridges into the DI housings and hand tighten. The unit comes with two TDS monitors which help monitor the performance of the RODI unit so I simply attach each of the two sets of red, white and blue sensor wires that are on top of the, the unit. I then peel back the adhesive strips on the back and attach the TDS monitors to a convenient location which in my case is a cement wall. The TDS meter on the right is set to out and I run the system until the meter reads zero. The water is now ready to use. Installing the float valve is a piece of cake. My first task is to drill a one half inch hole near the top of my RODI reservoir. I then take the float body and insert the washer over the thread and put the thread through the hole. The important thing is to have the washer on the inside of the water reservoir. The nut is then attached and tightened with a wrench. I then insert the one quarter inch blue tubing into the one half inch compression nut with the threads towards the end of the tube. I tighten the nut, but carefully, making sure it is not over tightened. And there you have it, an installed RODI unit. For more videos like this one, please visit my website, reefbum.com.